This video is sponsored by Clip Flip. You can take a look at their website at www.clipflip.com. Hey guys, today we're doing a review of the DX Eco 2.4 GHz battery free Blue Eye Mouse by Genius. Now before we get into the review of the mouse, I would like to show you what else you'll be getting in the package. So starting with the left hand side, you'll be getting a nicely sized user manual just to give you some information regarding the mouse. Now right here you will be getting your USB to micro USB um, cable. And this is a pretty nicely sized cable and this will be needed to charge your mouse and as I mentioned in the title this is a battery free mouse so you simply plug the micro USB end into here and the other end into your computer, your USB adapter, whatever you want and it will charge in only three minutes and that's very very that's very very fast only three minute charge time from dead to full and as it does sound good there is a flaw that goes along with it so it may sound like it's great three minutes but there is a flaw that I will be mentioning in the future um, that goes along with this that goes along with this feature now moving along right here this is your CD-ROM that comes included and you will need to install the software before using the mouse which is kind of different nowadays most of the mouse most of the mice nowadays are plug and play but you will need to install this software and the system requirements for that is Windows 7 Vista or XP and if you are on a Mac it is Mac OS X 10.4 or newer so um, now let's get into the last thing besides the mouse which is the pretty small Pico receiver and you will need this of course so that the computer knows um, where the mouse is and it because it is 2.4 gigahertz you can go up to 15 meters away which is pretty nicely sized pretty nice length between the mouse and the computer necessary so here's the mouse itself let's take a look at the mouse as you can kind of see it has a nice ergonomical design as you see right here, it does have Blue Eye. This is the Blue Eye logo. And this is the Blue Eye optical technology that's built in right here so that it is able to be worked, that you are able to use this mouse on multiple surfaces besides just the normal, um, normal desk, mouse pad. You'll also be able to use it on carpet, on sofas, on glass, and marble, which is pretty impressive. I like that a lot, how you aren't, you can also use it in a lot more environments. Now let's take a look on the top right here you do have your magic roller as as genius calls it the magic roller and it's nothing too crazy you simply just roll up to go forward to go up and then down to go down not nothing too crazy that's just what they call it. Now right here this button is your DPI and you have two options either 800 DPI or 1600 DPI and I definitely do not recommend you go to 1600 DPI as your mouse, as the pointer, will go crazy. You know, it will go very, very quickly. One little swipe and it will go oh, way off the page. So keep it, keep it on 800 DPI and that's what I always use. Now going up right here is what uh, Genius calls the patented flying scroll. And that's basically simply a hyper scroll. It's when you simply hold down this button. You are able to kind of go like that and it goes down the page. It's great for web browsing or simply going down a document, but it's nothing too much different than just simply going like that, simply scrolling it down like that, and it will go down. But it makes it pretty easy simply to scroll down just like that, hold it down, and it will go. Now on the left-hand side, you do have right here this nice rubber grip, and it does look very nice as you can kind of see from the aerial view. But it does work very well, and it looks very nice, and it feels great. So it is a nice rubber finish right here to give you a lot of grip. And right here, these two buttons, this is for forward and backward. Simply go forward right there and back to back right there. And this is really for, you know, searching stuff on the internet. So say you want to go back, you simply press that and it goes back and it works very well. And here you do have the company name Genius and their logo right there. Nothing on the right hand side. As you can kind of see, it does look very nice having the silver on black um, design. It looks very nice. Now on the bottom right here you do have a couple switches. This is the on and off switch. Simply to turn it on and off, nothing too crazy. You do have the blue eye optic um, sensor right there. And then you just have some model numbers. Now you do have four grip feet right here, one, two, three, and four. And this is just to make it a very nicely, nice um, you know, sliding effect. It does slide very easily on whatever surface you do want to use this with. Now, 
this does retail for $49.99. It does actually retail for $50, but if you do do some web searches, you'll be able to find it for a lot cheaper. You'll actually be able to find it for around $31, $32. So yeah, $49.99 is what it retails for, but you do some web searches, you're going to get it around $36, $37. So definitely a pretty big difference. And it works pretty well, but there are a few flaws that go along with it. Now, this mouse is battery free, as I mentioned, and for that, it weighs very, very little. It only weighs 95 grams, which is incredibly uh, light compared to your Logitech mice, uh, whatever kind of mice you are using. It's only 95 grams, and that's really nothing in the mouse uh, industry, in the mice industry. But um, for it being so light, it feels quite uh, cheap, and not really cheap, it feels more just like non sturdy when you are using it. It feels kind of like you can kind of break it easily and it feels really hollow. It feels like it's just a hollow piece of plastic. But, um, so yeah, that's definitely something to think about how it's very, very light. Now, as it also is battery free, it um, weighs very little as well. I mean, 95 grams is really nothing. So, when it does weigh 95 grams, it feels doesn't feel sturdy. And also, the battery does keep it um, weighing very little as well. Now, um, one pretty big flaw that I found with this mouse is that due to the fact that it is battery free and it can charge from dead to full in only three, in only three minutes, it really seems like it runs out of battery really quickly. Now, I've been using the same mouse from the first time I got my laptop in 2010 to now and I've only had to change the battery four times. And those are rechargeable AA batteries, nothing too crazy. Now, because it does charge from dead to full this in three minutes, it goes through the battery super quickly, like super quickly. I mean, I've only used this for about a week and a half now, and I've had to charge it seven times. So that's quite bad. I mean, of course, I do use my mouse a lot. I go on my computer every day. It's not something that I just go on once a week. I do go on it every day. but. Um, I had to constantly recharge it. It felt it seemed like every time I would use it, I would have to really get off and charge it. I mean, it really was horrible. I could always just plug it into my computer and then charge it, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having a wireless mouse. I mean, it was okay, cool. It was great when it when it was working, but it seemed like I would use it for a few hours and then the red light right here would blink, meaning that it was out of battery. And it really seemed like it was, you know, it was kind of taking over. I mean, it was, it was such a poor battery that I really couldn't stand using it for very long because I knew, you know, a couple hours later I'd have to charge it again. And of course, three three minutes from dead to full is great. I mean, it sounds great, but it seemed like I had to charge it so often that sure it was three minutes, but it was three minutes every few hours whereas you get a Logitech mouse that's twenty dollars and you have to recharge the batteries that you put in um once every six months I mean it seemed like the recharge that you had to recharge us way too much and it really seemed annoying to me and it seemed really unnecessary and something that genius really needs to think about um, I tried to look in the manual I tried to look in the specs I tried to look online for the battery that is built into this. Um, it is battery free, but I tried to find what kind of, you know, what kind of battery, because I mean, it has to charge somehow. I've tried to find what it does have to keep a charge, and I wasn't able to find it. I don't know if that's something that Genius did on purpose to kind of keep them in the clear, but I know it's battery free, but I wasn't able to find how it does charge. It's probably somewhere, but I wanted an actual specific number of whatever, of milliamp hours, of milliamps, or whatever. But I wasn't able to find that. And honestly, I think it's a great mouse. I mean, it has a great look. It does a lot of things. I mean, it works very well. It's a great mouse, except for the weight issue of only 95 grams, which is incredibly light in the mouse industry. And, um, battery, and also doing being uh, battery-free made it very very light and because it could charge in dead to full in three in three minutes it made it 
so annoying to use that I really didn't like to use it. Um, it really, I would use this for a day and then I would realize, okay, now I understand why no one, now I understand why I don't want to use this anymore. And then I would just switch back to my Logitech mouse that I had way before I got this. And honestly, if you're looking for a mouse that works very well, it looks great, it feels nice, it has a great grip in your hand, but you don't care about sturdiness and you're okay charging it every few hours, then this is a great mouse. I mean, $35, $36 is a pretty good price. It's not definitely the best price. You'll be able to get something cheaper, maybe at Staples or whatever, or on, even on Amazon. But um, $36 is going to get you some a great mouse. But just know that you have to recharge a lot, and it very, very, it's very, very light. So I will be giving this a 3 out of 5, of course, with that. I do recommend it. I mean, it's definitely a great uh, get, definitely a great mouse. Just there are some flaws that you do have to live with. Now, I would like to thank I would like to thank Genius for sending me this mouse out for review today. Also, if you would like to read my written review, you can also check it out on ilovegadgets77.com, and which I will be posting a full article just to basically give you my thoughts in in ink and in writing. Um, so you can check that out as well, and I'll put that in. The, I'll put the link in the description as well. So, I would like to thank you guys very much for checking out this review today. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.